Self-recognition is not transactional. How amazing is that? From the time we're born all the way through into adulthood, we're taught to barter and exchange. We have to barter or utilize time to be able to study, to pass exams, to do well in high school, and the same is true when we go to university. We have to utilize our time, study, train, pay attention, um, and exchange our personal freedom with respect to time to attend lectures and do uh, projects and study for ex exams and all of those things. And the same is true in the marketplace. When we go to work, we exchange our training and our gifts and our skills and our talents and our time. We utilize you know, our time sometimes up to 40, 50 hours a week uh, in order to receive payment. And we are so hardwired to being transactional about everything um, that we think that the same strategy and methodology has to be applied to seeking, to spiritual seeking, because we think that's the way it works. You know, if I meditate for two hours, then I'll attain this. If I study the scriptures for this period of time, then maybe I'll have this awareness. And there's always um, an end goal in mind when we're doing the practices. And, um, you can understand why it's because we've been we've been hardwired to believe that this is the way it works and of course the transactional way of operating is relative to the story and to the way we present and express in the world but it really has no bearing when it comes to spiritual attainment because who you are, your true nature, is always here, has always been here, and will always be here. It doesn't come and go. It's never altered by anything. It's not changed by circumstance. If you're sick, uh, the self is already here, is still here. And if you are feeling joyful, the self is still here. If you're being, you know, if you have, have disappointment, the self is still here. The self does not come and go. It is who you are. So, so this, the reason I'm inspired to share this today is because um, there's a real belief, and, and I certainly believed it, that if I did all the practice long and hard enough, then I would get somewhere some idea of some lofty state beyond my kind of everyday awareness and experience. I had this idea that I'd have some sort of elevated experience that would be ongoing and I would be above everything. And of course, none of that is real or true. It's all a fantasy. The truth is you are what you are seeking and you are already awareness. You are awareness aware of itself. And you can, you can ask yourself that question, is awareness here? And is awareness aware of itself? Or is awareness aware? You can just leave it like that. And you can ask that any time of the day or night. And by the recognition of your own seeing, you will see that you do not have to do anything to, to have this recognition. It's so direct and so clearly in plain view, it, uh, it's disregarded or it's overlooked. And it's certainly not transactional. It's not transactional. And I certainly believed it was. I believed that um, I had to do so many things in order to 
attain what is and has always been right here. So the invitation today is for you to just explore, explore that question, you know, what is here and what do you believe you have to kind of barter or exchange to be able to attain and recognize your authentic state of being, your authentic beingness, your authentic nature. And shining light on this is, can, can often be um, a revelation because we can have these um, kind of old beliefs, conditioned beliefs about uh, what self-recognition or realization looks like or might look like for us when we finally get there, wherever there is. So I invite you to look at that today and see what comes up. Ask yourself, is awareness here? Are you aware? Is awareness aware? Is awareness aware? And see what happens. And just question. Question what you think you still have to do <laughs> in order to discover what has never left. It's never left. So, isn't that simple? All right, so that's all I wanted to share today. As always, be well, take it easy, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.